Your call has been forwarded to an automatic voice message system. When you have finished recording, you may hang up or press one Didn't for more answer. options. I just got their voicemail. So do I still have to do this? Okay, okay, I got it. But I'm not doing this in front of everyone in the entire party. I'm going into the guest bedroom over there and I am locking the door. When I'm done, I'll come back out. But I don't want any of you disturbing me while I do this. Well, I won't back out because I can't back out at this point now, can I? I mean, it already told me to leave a message after the beep. Oh, oh shit! It's already recording! You're hearing all of this, damn it! Okay, hold on. <laughs> I, I am so sorry, just give me a minute to get somewhere where I can actually get my thoughts together. I... Excuse me, I promise I'll, I will explain... <laughs> I'll explain everything, hold on. Okay, now that we're alone... I, I mean, I'm alone. Just, just me and this phone, then I'm talking to you if... <laughs> If, if, if you are listening, that is. He might delete this voicemail without even listening to it. Which, honestly, would be kind of a relief since this is, <laughs> this is pretty nerve-wracking. But this probably sounds like some terrible phone scam, so... I guess I should explain why I even tried calling you in the first place. <sighs> Shit. <laughs> this, <laughs> this is a mess. You probably don't even know who I am right now. <laughs> At least, I've never given you my phone number, so I doubt that you'll recognize it or have it saved. <laughs> yes. As far as you know, this is a random call from a random number, which makes this really weird. Actually, that works in my favor, doesn't it? You have no idea who I am, so you can't be mad at me for this. <laughs> <sighs> At least that's some weight off my shoulders. Now I can actually say what I need to. But first, let me explain why you're getting this weird voicemail at like 3 in the morning. I'm, <laughs> I'm sure you won't even see this until you wake up. So at least I have some time to go into detail. I'm gonna try not to give myself away here, so sorry if I'm a bit vague. Um, well, not actually, since I'm trying to be subtle enough so that you don't know who I am. I guess I'm, I'm sorry if I end up being too vague about what's going on, because I'm trying to remain anonymous. But let's get to what I'm actually trying to tell you. And I'm going to tell you the whole story so you understand, so... <laughs> Please be patient and just hear me out, okay? Alright, so, I'm at this party right now, like I usually am on the weekends. It started at like 7 last night, and it was going great. I was, I was relaxing, having a few drinks, and just having an all-around good time. 
accept a few drinks turned into a shit ton <laughs> and I got real drunk just completely wasted then someone comes by and they start to well well they, they start to flirt with me sitting next to me leaning on me and trying to fill me up Usu usually I, I'd be cool with that but tonight I guess I wasn't I pushed them away and I told them that I wasn't a will because I wanted to date you <laughs> god that doesn't this this is so embarrassing. I can't believe I did that. <laughs> but apparently I actually told them I wasn't dating anyone because I was hoping you would date me. <laughs> I j I just up and said that to everyone. Can you believe that? Oh wait. I'm an idiot. You're not even on the phone. You can't respond. I'm sorry. I'm still not completely sober. I mean, I took a nap for an hour or two at some point between then and now. But I went way harder on the drinks than I meant to. But the sleep helped clear my head a bit, and so did some water and food, but... Only after I embarrassed them myself some more. <laughs> Everyone was telling me that after I mentioned you, I just would not shut up about you and how amazing you are. The person that was trying to get with me asked why I was so interested in you and I was a lost cause after that. After I woke up, everyone started teasing me about how much I was rambling about you. I didn't believe them, but someone showed me this 20 minute long video where I had the stupidest grin on my face and ranted on about how much I like your face. <laughs> At one point, I... I got upset because you weren't there and kept trying to leave so I could find you. <laughs> People had to keep pulling me away from the door so I wouldn't walk around the neighborhood without having a clue where to go. <sighs> Thankfully, I tired myself out and ended up taking a nap on the couch. But then I woke up and Everyone was more than happy to tease me about my puppy love crush. <laughs> they kept mocking me because I always say that I am not the relationship type. But I was talking about you like you hung the sun and moon. <laughs> it was the sappiest, wishiest bunch of babbling sweet talk I've ever heard. If you see the video, you totally agree with me. Um, wait, actually, I, 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 I really don't hope you see the video. I probably die on the spot. <laughs> so, so, anyways, my stupid self thought it would be a good idea to join in on a game of truth, dare, or drink. As everyone with a single brain cell could have guessed, the second I picked there, they dared me to tell you about how I was saying I wanted to date you. Which leads us to where we are right now, with me telling you that I'm really into you. Uh, uh, holy shit. I actually said that. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> well, 
Wow, that is my first time saying something like that. But I, I really am interested in you. R romantically interested, I mean. Not just some one night stand or quick fix. It feels a bit crazy to say, especially since I have this whole flirty playgirl reputation that everyone knows. To be fair, that isn't a completely inaccurate reputation either. I've always been a bit of a player and everyone knows it. I love a good time. And so long as everyone plays it safe, what's the harm? And I never really cared if everyone knew it because that was just who I was. I liked being someone who could get with whoever they wanted. I even took pride in it, if I'm honest. But then you came to one of the parties I was drawing and it was all over for me from the second I saw you I I couldn't get you off my mind the rest of the night you were the only thing I could pay attention to <laughs> I remember that you kicked my ass in the game of beer pong stole a drink right out of my hand and then took one of my jackets because it was cold out and you wanted to walk to the 24-hour diner across the street. <laughs> Even though it was small on you, you persisted. <laughs> you know, you actually never gave that jacket back. I've always wondered if you kept it. Do you still have it? If you do, <laughs> do you wear it? <laughs> I hope you do, even if you don't remember who you stole it from. <sighs> Shit, <laughs> I'm getting tired again. Expressing my emotions is exhausting. I mean, it feels nice to finally get it off my chest, but still, is exhausting. <laughs> I wanna go back to sleep, but I'm scared to go to bed because then I'll have to wake up and be sober and deal with this whole mess that I have made. <sighs> I don't even want to think about that right now. <sighs> I think what's scaring me the most is that you might have recognized me by now. What if I said something that gave me away? Or my voice? What if you actually do have my phone number and knew it was me from the very start? <laughs> I don't want to think about that right now, though. <laughs> I just want to think about you. <laughs> Thinking about you is much nicer. I like thinking about how you smile, and how you walk, and how you laugh. <laughs> I. I really like your laugh, even though you sound like a hyena with a respiratory infection. <laughs> it's cute. Mildly off-putting, but cute. <laughs> it makes me laugh too. <laughs> but don't worry, I'm laughing with you, not at you. <laughs> you know, I... I kinda wish you were here. Someone told me that you were coming, and that's half the reason I came. 
I wanted to see you again and hang out with you. Maybe I even try to drop a few hints that I'm into you. <laughs> Unfortunately, you weren't, and so I couldn't spend the night with you. I, I mean, I, I, I didn't mean it like that. I just, I just wanted to get to know you more. The most I was thinking of doing was holding your hand or maybe hugging you, but that's it. I swear. Um, or maybe touching your face. You have a very touchable face. Like, I wanna poke your cheeks and bonk your forehead and kiss your lips. Especially the kiss your lips part. Well, that's probably telling you too much. I mean, you don't even have my phone number yet. Pretend you didn't hear anything, okay? I mean, if you were even listening to this, please don't be listening to this. <sighs> okay, I'm starting to drift off here. I think I better hang up so I don't fall asleep while I'm still on the phone with you. I mean, I mean your voicemail. <laughs> you know what I meant. Sorry for rambling at you for so long, but, uh, yeah. I'm really into you, and I really want you to know that. I mean, kinda? I'm scared for you to know that, but since you don't know who I am right now, I want you to know that. <laughs> so, just to be clear, the faceless stranger, that is me, thinks that you are a 10 out of 10. I No, that sounds creepy. J just, just forget I said anything. You're cute. I like you a lot. <laughs> I'm drunk. <laughs> Good night. But really, I mean it. All of it. Um, yeah. Good night. <laughs>